It may be a vacation paradise and destination of dreams for honeymooners around the world, but the beautiful Maldives archipelago is one of the most at-risk countries on the planet from climate change. The rising oceans threaten to wash over its tropical islands, which are the lowest lying on Earth. The highest point in the entire Maldives sits just under eight feet above sea level on Vilangili Island in the Adu Atoll. But it looks like a new project could be the beginning of a real solution to the concerns of their shrinking landmass. The Maldives floating city has the green light for the construction of 5,000 floating housing units linked together by walkways and tethered to the 200 hectare lagoon floor. This housing project, like no other, will sit just a 15 minute boat ride from the Maldivian capital, Malay, with its international airport. Being built under an integrated tourism model, Maldives floating city will eventually be a mix of houses, hotels, shops, restaurants, and a marina. Buildings will be low rise and sea facing, positioned along tidy palm lined streets, where a network of bridges, canals, and docks promises to create cohesiveness and make all amenities easily accessible. Structures in the lagoon will be supported and stabilized by sandy beaches, while outside massive coral reefs will be grown to house hotels, restaurants, and shops. There will be no cars, but rather the crunch of sand underfoot, the ding of bicycle bells, and the hum of electric buggies and scooters ensuring minimal noise pollution. According to Mohammed Nasheed, the president of the Maldives from 2008 to 2012, the floating city will not require any land reclamation and has minimal impact on coral reefs. Being built as a private-public partnership between Netherlands-based Dutch Docklands and the Maldivian government, the project has been more than a decade in the making and will act as a blueprint for sustainable developments in the future, in the Maldives and elsewhere. The city is composed of hexagonal segments, part modeled on the geometry of local coral built using the most eco-friendly construction possible and complemented with traditional Maldivian architecture. While the buildings float on the water's surface, island barriers around the lagoon will serve as breakers below the waterline, an ingenious configuration that lessens the impact of lagoon waves while stabilizing the structures and complexes on the surface. The project was proposed as a home to Maldivians, as well as international visitors, who will automatically have the option to get a residence permit with a house purchase. The marine engineering and technical details are complete, and construction is slated to begin after government approvals have been granted in January 2023 with an estimated five-year timeline to completion. But if you can't wait that long to get a taste of what this floating future might look like, the first block will be open for public viewing in August this year.